What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Record heat again in New York, surprisingly. And I had to do it. I had to take out the Aton. Let's give her the battery and let her have some fun in this beautiful, gorgeous day. All right, let's turn on the transmitter first. Fully charged transmitter, fully charged battery. A letter to battery, letter A, so I won't ever use the same battery twice. Plug her in. Listen to that beautiful sound. My fire dragon is waking up. There she is. Keep looking for those satellites. She has already established power. She's blinking and she's scanning the skies for satellites, Russians and Americans. And we'll just patiently wait. It's been a while since I used her. Shouldn't take too long. Once we get that solid green light that is blinking, then she'll go to the third box and make a home point. And then we'll be ready to go. We'll have four green lights. The furthest one to the right is just an indication for LVC. If that blinks, that means your battery is low. But it's solid green, so we have fully charged battery. For my telemetry on my transmitter is fully charged too. And uh, we'll just wait. And here she is. Four green boxes. Let's give this a go. Arm and motors. Gonna raise her up at 50%. The wind today is very low. It's like five to six. And we're at 50%. And she is rock steady. I'm gonna raise her up a little bit. We'll give her a walk around and make sure she has a good GPS lock. She's looking good. There's no challenge today for her again because there's no wind. We'll go forward just to see how she feels. And then as soon as I feel confident that she is okay to fly faster, we'll shut off that GPS. And she is definitely looking good for a faster flight. All right, so air brakes on the right. And I accidentally hit return to home. <laughs> we'll see if she goes home. <laughs> it's all right. And it's a good, uh, good test for her. I hit the wrong button. I was gonna do sport mode, but she's returning to home. Pretty close. Very close. She's coming down close to home plate. I'm gonna hit the air brakes, interrupt it, bring her down. Alright, okay, so I'm going to set my timer on my clock to around five minutes or so because I used some of her power just to the GPS. She actually sunk a little bit because I wasn't paying attention. Alright, let's do six minutes. We're in sport mode, here we go. Look at her go, nice.
Very nice. It's been a while since I used it. I actually forgot which button was sport mode. That's what happens when you get old. But I'm back. I'm awake now. Beautiful bird. She's a mean, angry bird. But I love this bird. Nice looking bird too. And I love it when it's no wind. Awesome quad. Now, this quad has three modes. The beginner mode is very slow, it's for camera. And expert mode, actually sport mode, which is where she is now, has no GPS. And um, it's a lot different. So if you're a beginner, I don't recommend you flying her in sport mode. unless you're confident. Now there is another mode which I hardly ever use because it's um, there's no it's a manual mode, there's no GPS, there's no gyros, there's no center, center of gravity of it, there's, there's, no, there's nothing holding you, you gotta fly her completely manual and there's no barometers, there's nothing. I hardly ever use it. I used it a few times and I usually crash. So I, I don't want to crash because I don't have enough propellers. So I keep her in sport. Because sport mode gives me a little bit of self-leveling. But it gives me the same speed as expert or manual. I'll bring her down a little bit because she's all the way out there. She's geo fenced for 600 feet. So I keep her around, you know, 500 feet away from me. Although if she goes out of range, she'll return to home automatically, which is a good thing. She's a beast, man. I highly recommend her. And I hit LVC. So I bring her home. Hit the air brakes, that will hold her in place. I'm gonna switch her to beginner mode and the lander. Beginner mode has GPS lock, so all right. Away from the wood. And we just gradually bring her down. Beautiful. And she stops by herself. Oh yeah. Fire dragon, man. Fire dragon. Whew. Beast, man. Keeps me on my toes. 
I have a cold sweat coming up right now. She makes great funnels, nice and controlled, nice and steady. Then she takes off like crazy, like crazy angry bird, and she is gone. That was a free fall drop. Today. She's an angry bird today. Well, how much fun this sport quad is. She's built really good. You know? Almost touched ground there. Almost. I gotta floor it up. Okay. I have no clue how fast I'm going. I already see warning on my clock, so and I'm getting like no bars on her battery, so I'm gonna bring her close. And before she starts to vibrate on a transmitter, hit the air brakes and she stops on a dime. And turn on the GPS by pressing in the right gimbal joystick. GPS is turned on. I'm on beginner mode. GPS lock on her. So now I can easily bring her down gently. That's it. All right, guys, that was just a quick flight of this uh, Aton on a beautiful day. And I'm just going to keep on flying because I have five more batteries to burn. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.